Welcome to Kenya, guys. And look at this, we've got a male cheetah. Remember, this is coming to you live from the Maasai Mara. My name is Brent Leo Smith. I have Dangerous Dave Eastor on camera. And this is the first time I've seen a male cheetah. And he's got a fat belly. I'm pretty sure he made a kill underneath the tree uh, in the distance there, because we saw some vultures there, and that's where we found him moving from. But that was about four hours ago. So we've been mission. We've been moving around and we haven't been able to, uh, we have, we found lots of things, but we decided to come back to see if he's moved and he hasn't. Okay, so you can see he's got quite a nice, now, earlier today I was looking her name is Musiara, and she's got four cubs, but uh, she is somewhere towards uh, uh, the Talek River. But while we're on our way looking for the ridge pride of lions, now I actually met a, a lovely gentleman today who's a, a sort of a lion expert in this area, has been working in this area for, for many years um, from Governor's Camp, and he, and he gave me some very interesting info. So, of course, um, everyone has heard of the ridge pride, but only people who watch TV know who the Ridge Pride are. All the guides uh, and around here call them the Madumo Pride, which is their original pride name. And uh, we found all 19 of them today. And uh, unfortunately, they were down in the Ola Orok River Valley. Oh, you might get up. Um, but they, some of them have moved up towards the ridge, and we're going to see if we can find them a little later. But I'm hoping this beautiful big cheetah boy decides to get up now of course all these cheetahs have have names and um, slowly getting to learn where their territories are and who's who in the zoo uh, but with the help of the local experts and uh, hopefully we'll, we, we will be able to get an id of this beautiful male cheetah now it is possible he could be part of a coalition and he's just off gallivanting on his own at the moment um, or you could just be a single male it all depends and until we spend more time in this area we're not going to know now this area is fast becoming one of my favorite areas I'm just gonna get Dave to show you quickly I sort of make sure my pronunciations are correct on the names of the rivers okay so we've got this wonderful area down here you can see those rivers there and it's the Ola Rock and the Nitiki, oh, here we go, Natia Kitiak mm. River, at that junction here, and it's called Double Crossing, this area below us. And uh, unfortunately, we do have a little bit of a problem with signal down there, but um, hopefully we'll be able to rectify that in the future. We're quite far up the hill now, uh, actually on the, the hills that lead up towards Rhino Ridge, and uh, it is absolutely spectacular here. So we're on the other side of the river from the Mara Conservancy, or the Mara Triangle, and we're in the main Masai Mara National Reserve. Isn't he a beautiful big boy? He looks in prime condition and fat as fat can be. I think he ate a whole Thompson's gazelle. Hey, big boy. Now it's starting to cool down. Doesn't mean he's going to get on the move just yet. As you can see, there we go. Some of that fat, fat belly starting to show. Now I've been lucky enough to see a cheetah hunt from start to finish with Eggsy. Dave hasn't been so lucky yet. Oh, big sigh. Now, um, I just couldn't, sorry, I couldn't hear who the question was from, but um, the question was, why is the cheetah alone? Well, cheetah males are either in coalitions, Riti, or, or they are in a, or they are solitary. Cheetah males can often be solitary and move around hunting by themselves. Uh, and uh, they are not as territorial as the other big cats and will often have much bigger home ranges uh, than lion or leopard and will actually move through. The female cheetahs have much, much larger home ranges than the males and that's because of their very interesting sort of breeding cycle. It is the only one of the big cats that needs uh, a male dominant sort of uh, ratio uh, for mating. So females need to sort of pass up on two or three males before they decide it's okay to, to mate. 
and uh, where there is obviously with lions and leopards it's the complete opposite there we go you can see the semi retractable claws so unlike the other big cats as well not able to retract their claws fully now that is a special adaptation for the incredible speeds the cheetah are capable of now Dave in the distance here's his favorite food and as I say he's quite fat so he's not going to go for them let me just move out of the way. Here we go. Oh, what have we got there? Tommy's or Grant's? Grant's. So not his favorite food, his second favorite food. There's Grant's gazelle in the distance. Oh, he's rolling over. Now, Eclair says, what is the way to tell a male and female cheetah? Well, I'm pretty sure it's a male. I haven't actually seen the sort of um, wedding tackle to guarantee just yet, but unless it's a very big female uh, generally judging by size uh, it is a very big cheetah and it could it's possible it's a big female I'm wrong but I and um, been lying facing away from us let's let's loop around a little bit Dave let us oh no oh there we go there's that belly actually now I'm not so sure let's have a look oh, oh flop that belly is just too much okay let's move around try really make sure if it's a male or female cheetah uh, and I haven't seen well I've only seen two this is the third cheetah I've seen so it could possibly be just a very large female but I just just judging from the size um, I thought it was possibly a male and uh, we're going round to be proven wrong it looks like it hello gorgeous Sure, you are a big girl if you are a girl. It does look like a very big female. Wow, that's a big big female cheetah. I mean, she must be nearly the same size as the two boys that we see on Cheetah Plains. Definitely a female. Now, I wonder who this is. Now, the most famous cheetah in the Mara is Malaika. But I haven't seen her yet. Well, maybe I have. I don't know. Um, uh, or this, I don't think this is Musiara. Uh, I heard she was further to the east of us uh, along the Talek River today. Oh, but having the best rolls. Oh, it's a big female cheetah. Much bigger than the one we saw on the other side here, Dave. Well, she was quite young. I actually found out. Oh, there we go. She's up. Oh, and down again. Now, unfortunately, we are an incredibly long way from home today. We've probably still got about a three-hour drive ahead of us. So, And she's got a full belly, so I don't think she's going to get up too much. But, um, guys, send me screenshots of the side of her when she stood up there. And those are what we use as ID features. And I'll send it off to the cheetah researchers, and hopefully we can find out who exactly this gorgeous big girl is. And remember, this is coming to you 100% live from the Maasai Mara in Kenya. And uh, while we continue on our way, I'm going to go see if we can catch up with some of the Ridge Pride. While we do that, let's go across to James, who's stomping about in the bush.